Radic you welcome to It's Cartoon Time. We're here at the Laguna Art Museum Gallery here at South Coast Plaza. And we have a Dr. Seuss themed It's Cartoon Time show with me, Sammy Surf, and the cat in the hat. Stay cartoon because we're gonna draw one kissy fishy kill. a piece of paper and get your pen we're gonna draw along with one of your friends it could be sammy or slow paul joel stay cartoon and watch the show cartoon time it's cartoon time it's simple it's silly it's lots of fun we're gonna draw along with everyone pirate Petey, mr wizard the wiz it's simple and silly it's what it is Welcome back, the cat in the hat. You like that theme song, I thought so. We were dancing to it. We have some great brownie troops out here and some other special guests here at South Coast Plaza. How many people remember this book? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say what a lot of fish there are. Remember this book by Dr. Seuss, one of my all time favorites. And in honor of this book, we are going to draw one kissy fishy. And I know everybody's so excited to be doing that. So what you're gonna do, get out a piece of paper and your favorite pen or pencil. All you dudes and doodle flats out there in cartoon land, because you're gonna draw cartoons with me, Sammy Surf, and the cat in the hat's gonna hang out and all of these cool cartoonists out here. This fish is going to be going towards the left. So find the center of your paper, go towards the left a little bit, and draw one circle, only one this time, for the fish. And he's gonna have some kissy lips. Totally cute. It's good to see all of you out there. One circle. All you do is end little glitz for the eye. Are you ready? Can everybody say I? I. Like I. to I. draw. Draw. Oh, doing a great job out there. Now what we're going to do on the left side, we're going to draw a circle for the pupil of the eye. And if you want to learn how to draw an olive, that's how an olive looks. <laughs> how many people knew that? All right, now we're going to draw a curved line for the nose, just a small curved line. Raise your hand if you know what I mean. That's what I thought you know is what I mean. Doing a great job out there. And now we're going to draw a curved line on the top and then on the bottom. Remember, we're drawing one kissy fishy, all you do, Dan Duda Colette's ratty keel. It's good to see all of you out there practicing and practicing the cat in the hat. Are you having a radical time out here? You like Dr. Seuss, don't you? If he created you, I remember your book, um, the cat in the hat, it was a self-titled, doing a great job out there. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the other eye for that perspective. Can everybody say perspective? Now this is gonna be kind of difficult, but if you practice, 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 you'll know what to do. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the other pupil in the eye, just fill it on in and do a great job out there. Radicule, can everybody say that? Radicule. Doing a great job. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the top of the fish on the right side of the eye, a curve line going all the way around. And this is gonna be a silly looking fish. Remember, Dr. Seuss did a lot of great books. He did the writing part and he did the illustrations on those books. He did a great job. And so we're gonna make it kinda of silly looking. So what, watch what I do at the bottom, make a curve line and then stop because we're gonna leave some room for that pectoral fin. Can everybody say pectoral fin? Pectoral fin. They're doing a great job out there. Look at that and we hear the uh, eliminators in the background and we're dancing to them. A really cool surf band down there in San Clemente. Ready, cute. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw another pectoral fin. We didn't even draw one, I just said another one because the other one's on the left side, totally cute. Doing a great job out there. Remember, this is my cartoon style and all you do then do to let's have your own unique cartoon style. So let's draw a line going from the left towards the right. The cat in the hat, can you say cute? Well, he doesn't talk too much. He's just sitting there having a good time. All right. Now on the right side of that pectoral fin, let's draw a curve line going up and then stop because we want to draw the back fin. We call that the caudal fin or the tail fin. Can everybody say caudal fin? Caudal fin. All right. Can you say tail fin? Tail fin. 
very nice. They're doing a great job out there. Let's draw the caudal fin or the tail fin, a curved line at the top and a curved line below, kind of like a half of a butterfly wing or the number three, all you dudes and dudicolettes out there. Radicule. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the dorsal fin. How many people knew that that was called the dorsal fin? That's what I thought, keel. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a curve line and a curve line and a curve line and a curve line all the way around. Doing a great job out there. Now what we're gonna do on the back, we're gonna draw the gills. How many people know what the gills are? Remember Vince Gill? You've seen Vince Gill before, that's what I thought. All right, let's draw a curve line. And on one of the It's Cartoon Time shows, we drew Vince Gill. Totally cool, another fish. I like to draw fish. Fat, funny fish, or kissy fishies. One kissy fishy, all you dudes and doodle clips. Now we're gonna draw the scales. Have you ever gone fishing and you had a scale of fish? Not too many kids do that anymore. I used to do that every once in a while, because I am Sammy, sir. Let's draw some backward seas, because I know you're saying, I see what you mean. <laughs> you wanna be my joke writer next time? Pat the Hat doing a great job out there. Radicule! Now we're gonna add some detail. Can everybody say detail? Detail. All right, if you have a different color pen or marker in cartoon land out there or sitting down here, you can add some different color. You may have only one color. I'm just gonna add some shading. And it's kind of hard to pick up on TV. Some shading and color combined on those dorsal fins, on the pectoral fins, and then on the tail fin or the caudal fin, all you dudes and beautiful lets out there. Now I'm gonna make this a girl fish. So I'm gonna draw the eyelashes on the left, three curved eyelashes, a one and a two and a three, and then three on the right. And all of you know how to add three plus three equals six. All right, you guys are doing a great job. We have some six-year-olds out there too doing a great job. And now we're gonna draw just a small line on the lips. We're gonna be jumping around a little bit and you're doing a great job out there. Totally radicule. Can everybody say that? Radicule. Cat in the hat, you're doing a great job. Let me fix your bow tie there. All right, totally cool. Your whiskers are all nice and shiny. Your hat's on. Perfect. Radicule. All right, now we're going to do is we're going to draw hearts on the left and then on the right, a curved line. Hearts are kind of difficult, but if you practice, 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 you'll know what to do. All you dudes and dudicolettes out there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a curved line going all the way around and then going towards the fish, all you dudes and dudicolettes. Totally cool, look at that. We have some great cartoonists out there that have been practicing and practicing. I am so impressed. Now let's draw the water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the right side of this caption and we're gonna go towards the right. And there's so many different types of fish. You know, there's fish that swim out in the ocean. They live in the salt water. There's fish that live in fresh water. There's fish like goldfish that live in kind of where the water is really cold and there's fish that are tropical that live in fresh tropical waters that are warm. So there's so many types of fish out there. Raise your hand if you think something's fishy about all that. That's what I thought. Like, do you like to eat fish? The cat in the hat likes to eat a lot of fish. That's right. Have you ever seen one kissy fishy? That's what I thought. He's going, kill. All right, now we're gonna draw some action lines and bubbles. Can everybody say action lines? Action lines. Totally cool. Two curved lines at the top and two curved lines at the bottom. To make it look like he's wiggling through the water and then let's draw some bubbles. I'm gonna draw three bubbles and then the letter C right in the center because I know you're saying, I see what you mean, Sammy Surf. Ready, keel. You guys are doing a great job. All you dudes and dudicolettes. The girls are the dudes and the guys are the dudicolettes. And look at those dudicolettes out there doing a great job. Ready, keel. Let's draw some lumpy, bumpy ocean bottom from the left towards the right, way down at the bottom there, all you dudes and dudicolettes. Now let's make some seaweed, some wiggly lines going all the way up. Now if you see seaweed, is it called sawweed because you just saw it? See it? No, it's called seaweed no matter what. Okay, I see what you mean, totally cool. Now let's make some wiggly lines going all the way through. And if you'd like, you can add some detail below. Can everybody say detail? Detail. Totally cool. Doing a great job out there. Let's draw some curved lines for some seashells. Remember, Susie sells some seashells down by the seashore. Totally cool. Practicing and practicing here at the Laguna Art Gallery at South Coast Plaza. They have different events and different themes every month. Totally cool. You need to come on down and visit us. And the cat and the hat may even be here. You never know, though, because I, I know you like to roam around the mall and they have a lot of great restaurants. Your tie looks so sharp. Is red one of your favorite colors? <laughs> That's what I thought. All right, look at that. 
I like this drawing, One Kissy Fishy, inspired by the book by Dr. Seuss, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. We're going to come back and take a peek at the cartoons that you've been sending in and some of the cartoons that they have drawn here in South Coast Plaza. Kill! Radicule, creative cartooning kids, all you do, Dan Dudical. Let's, let's take a peek at some of those cartoons that you've been sending in. We're gonna get a nice tight shot of this one by Haley, who's nine years old, drew a dog. You remember, I think Mr. Wizard the Wiz showed Haley how to do this one. Totally, totally cute. Here's another fish. We draw a lot of fish on its cartoon time. From Whitney, who's nine years old, goes to Lake Forest. Uh, Olive Wood School out there in Lake Forest. Totally, totally cool. We have a couple more cartoons here. Here's one, Sandy Dollar. Remember Sandy Dollar? I showed all you dudes in Dudicolettes how to draw a Sandy Dollar by Michael, who's 10 years old. Lives way out there in Rancho Santa Margarita. I guess it depends where you live. All right, totally cool. Here's another one, Joey, 11 years old, lives out there in San Clemente. Another cartoon of Sandy Dollar. How many people have seen a Sand Dollar before? Out at the beach, totally cool. And here's that special It's Cartoon Time certificate we send to you if you send in a cartoon. Remember, if you're patient, you'll see your cartoon right here. The cat in the hat has the microphone. And we're going to take a peek at some of the cartoons that our cartoonists have been drawing here. What's your name? Madeline, Madeline Carpenter. Hi, Madeline. And how old are you? Seven. Seven. Do you like to read Dr. Seuss books? Yes. What? Do you have a favorite Dr. Seuss book? Mm. What about the cat in the hat? He's waving behind you. Have you seen the cat in the hat before? Yeah. Do you like cats? Do you like cats better than dogs or dogs better than cats? I say cats. All right. Meow. All right. Thank you. What is your name? Chelsea. Chelsea. What did you draw a picture of? Do you remember? A kissing fish. A kissing fish. I've seen, there's some real kissing fish out there too. And you're in a brownie troop. What brownie troop are you in? 490. Do you do a lot of fun things in brownies? Yeah. All right, totally cool. And I can tell you are a great cartoonist. And how old are you? I'm eight. Eight years old. Well, congratulations for doing a great job. And what is your name? Katie. Katie, and how old are you? Nine. Nine years old. And do you like to read Dr. Seuss books? Yes. What's your favorite Dr. Seuss book? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Ah, very good. Nice work. And we have another person. Well, you seem to be an older cartoonist. What is your name? Lori. Lori, and what is your job here? You have a couple brownies here. What do you do? I'm um, troop leader for uh, Brownie Troop 490. 490. Now, uh, brownies sell Girl Scout cookies too, right? Yes, they do. What is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Thin mints. Thin mints. How many can you eat in one sitting, would you say? Oh, two. Two, okay. Very conservative. I could do about 200. Well, look at those cool cartoons. All you dudes and doodleclets, if you want to see your creative cartoons right here on It's Cartoon Time, send one. Remember, we draw usually three on every show, two. It's Cartoon Time, P.O. Box 3104, San Clemente, California, the zip code 92674 dash. 3104 and if you're patient you'll see your cartoon right here on its cartoon time and remember if you put your return address all you dudes and doodle collect you'll see uh, an its cartoon time certificate in the mail that's so cute we'll be right back after this important message cue the cat in the hat Totally Q. Welcome back to the Laguna Art Gallery here in South Coast Plaza. Sammy Surf here with the cat in the hat and you stood up and you are so tall. I cannot believe how tall you are. You must be almost 10 feet tall. I bet you're a great basketball player. Have you played basketball before? Totally cool. We're going to draw L McPherson, the letter L. And on behalf of Dr. Seuss, who I can lick 30 tigers because the word lick starts with the letter L. And it says, I can lick 30 tigers today. Well, maybe 29. You down there with the curly hair, will you please step out of the line? I can lick 29 tigers today. Well, that's sort of, I mean, uh, I got a couple things to do. I'll cut down my list. First group is dismissed. I'll beat up the next 22. I can lick 22 tigers today, and it goes on and on. And this is a great book. So we're going to draw the letter L. Can everybody say kill? All right, radical. We're going to start at the bottom this time. You, typically, we start at the top or the middle. This time, we're going to draw the eyes at the bottom because we're going to draw an uppercase L. Raise your hand if your name starts with the letter L out there. All right, find the center. Go down a little bit, not too far down. And let's draw an oval on the left or 
a circle and an oval or a circle on the right for the eyes, all you do and dudeclets. If you notice, every cartoon that I draw, I get in a set routine I, routine, I always draw the eyes first. All in favor, say aye. Aye. That's what I thought, doing a great job out there. Now you can make your eyes looking in any direction. I'm going to make mine looking towards the right. My eyes are looking towards the right or towards the left or up or down, whatever you would like. All you radicule dudes and dudeclets out there, Heel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw and then try to do it as straight as you can. A horizontal line on the left and a horizontal line on the right. And I know all of you dudes and doodleclets know all your letters of the alphabet. You know how to do the sound. You know uppercase and lowercase. Remember, if you're writing a name, should you have a, an uppercase letter first or a lowercase? That's right, an uppercase letter. We have some keel dudes out there. Look at those doodleclets do, doing a great job. All right, brownies are ready keel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw, are you ready, a vertical line going from the bottom going all the way up and if it's kind of crooked like mine that's okay because I need to practice, practice, practice and we're here to have a lot of fun and remember you don't have to draw like me Sammy Surf, you don't have to even draw like Dr. Seuss, remember he was an author and an illustrator, just develop your own unique cartoon style and you will have some fun drawing your simple and silly cartoons. Keel. Now let's draw a horizontal line going across, just a small one, and this is going to be kind of like a thick letter, and everyone calls it a bubble letter, something different. Write the cat in the hat. Good to see you. Let me shake your hand. Doing a great job out there. I have to hand it to you. Your tie is looking sharp. Always wearing a red tie, very proper. Look at that, and whiskers, we said, are, are just doing great. All right, Keel. Now let's draw another line going on down from the left all the way down and you want to leave some thickness there because we're drawing L McPherson the letter L in honor of Dr. Seuss because he wrote so many books and he he did the illustrations too all you dudes and dude cool that's a totally cool cartoonist and author all right here we go going all the way across now this can get difficult but remember if you practice 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 you'll know what to do and people say well why do you say that all the time Sammy and all the other characters well yes yeah, you know the more you practice anything the better you will get like when you play baseball the more times you swing that bat and you hit the ball the further it will go the more times you practice running around the bases the better you get running around the bases so same thing applies to cartooning all right and just connect and your L should look kind of like that and now we're gonna add some detail can everybody say detail Ready, keel. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw just a small nose, just a little nose, a little C or a little L. Just like the letter L for L McPherson, all you do, Dan Dutiful. That's ready, keel. Now let's draw just one happy face, one happy mouth, all you do, Dan Dutiful. Let's draw a small line on the left and a small line on the right. And we're going to draw some happy lips on there, all you do, Dan Dutiful. A mushy M at the top and then one at the bottom, a letter U at the bottom. The word like starts with the letter L. If you know a person named Lisa, that starts with the letter L. Remember like and lick from the book from Dr. Seuss starts with the letter L. Looney starts with the letter L. Sometimes I act loony. Does, does Sammy Surf start with the letter L? No. Does the cat in the hat start with the letter L? No but you like to eat fish and the word like starts with the letter L. All right, let's draw some eyelashes. I always like to add three. Remember, we try to keep it simple and silly. You can draw them straight or you can draw them curved however you would like all you dudes and dudeclets out there. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna add some perspective and we're gonna add a caption and then we're gonna take a peek at those cartoons you've been sending in and also the cartoons that have been drawn over here. Starting at the left, go up a little bit. And as you know, Dr. Seuss used to like to draw kind of bumpy lines curve lines, all you dudes and doodleclets, so we can do that. Now we're going to add some shading, starting at the left, going all the way towards the right, and if you'd like, you can kind of change the direction of the line, depending on the angle of the, of the lights or the sun. Totally keel, doing a great job out there. And now we're going to add a caption. How many people have had Caption Crunch cereal before? <laughs> have you had Caption Crunch? I'm just kidding. He knows what I mean. Nice nose, doing a great job. All right, look at that. And we're going to write the word Dr. Seuss because this is a Dr. Seuss themed It's Cartoon Time show. All right, then S E U S S. Now, typically, you wouldn't put all uppercase letters, but I like to write uppercase letters. They're so much fun. 
I'm going to write an exclamation point at the end or an exclamation mark because Elle McPherson saying, Dr. Seuss, kill! Doing a great job out there, and then we'll make a V going towards the mouth. Dr. Seuss, radicule, and if you have different colored pens out there, or crayons, or if you have oil pastels, you can add a design. I'm going to add some green here going from the top, going towards the bottom. All right, there you go. And if you have some orange or any other color, you can add some other colors as well. Oh, my orange is running out of ink. All you dudes and doodoclets doing a great job out there practicing and practicing. Color in those lips a different color if you'd like. If you have blue, you can add some blue. Remember Elvis Parsley, he drew Boo Boo Blue Suede Shoe a while back. Totally cool. Look at that. Doing a great job. All of our cartoonists out there in cartoon land and our cartoonists here today. And you can add some detail and make your cartoon look really radical. If you had fun, say, I had fun. Totally cool. Let me take a peek. Look at all these great cartoons that they are drawing. Can we get that anywhere? Look at how cool these are. Thank you so much. We're going to take a peek at some of the cartoons that our cartoonists have been sending in. We'll be right back. <laughs> Radicule, creative cartooning kids, all you dudes and dudicolettes. We've had so many cartoons sent in. I'm only going to show you one because I want to see some of our creative cartoons that our brownie kids have been drawing. Here's one from Shane Drew, Peking Drag. Remember he was peeking around? <laughs> Remember Mr. Wizard the Wiz, he showed uh, Shane how to do this. Totally cool. Let's take a peek here at Elle McPherson. Hi, what's your name? Sherry. Sherry, and how old are you, Sherry? Eight. Eight, and what's your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Do you like the cat in the hat? Do you like one fish, two fish, red fish, yes. blue fish? All right, can you say radicule? Radicule. All right, thank you so much. And what is your name? Megan. Megan, how old are you? Nine. Nine years old. And what is your favorite cartoon? Do you have a favorite cartoon that you like to draw? No. Do you like to draw fish? Yeah. Did you like drawing Elle McPherson? All right, totally cool, thank you. And what is your name? Erica. Erica, and how old are you, Erica? Nine. Nine years old, another nine-year-old brownie out there. And what is your favorite letter of the alphabet? E. E. All right, because your name is Eric and it starts with the letter E. All right, totally cool. Thank you, Eric. And what is your name? Sarah. Sarah. Boy, you are having a big smile today. Do you like watching It's Cartoon Time? Yeah. What's your favorite saying that the characters say on the show? Cool. Cool. Can you say a cool? Cool. All right, very nice. And how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. All right, and what is your name? Kristen. Kristen, and how old are you? Eight. See, it says it on your paper that you're eight. And what is your favorite letter of the alphabet? K. K, because your name starts with the letter? K. That's right. All right. Thank you so much. And hi, what's your name? Stacy. Stacy, and how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. Hold up your cartoon so everybody can see that. And what is your favorite letter of the alphabet? S. S. And what's your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Mm. Do you like a lot of Dr. Seuss books? Do you think they're kind of silly? Yeah, and the cat in the hat likes uh, all the books too. Hi, what's your name? Madeline. Madeline, and how old are you? Seven. Seven years old, and what did you draw a picture of? Do you remember? L McPherson. That's right, the letter L. Is, is the letter L one of your favorite letters? Mm -hmm. Now, what's your favorite letter? M. That's what I thought. Can you say radicule? Radicule. Thank you so much. And we have another special guest here by the Cat in the Hat, our great cartoonist. Hi, what's your name? My name is Elena Arojo, and I'm from the Education Department at Laguna Art Museum. Totally cool. Now, what can a boy or girl or a mom or dad do when they come to the museum here at South Coast Plaza? Well, right now we have a children's ex exhibit up, and so we have a lot of programs offered for children. But with every exhibit, we always have family programs offered. Totally cool. So if they come by, they may see the cat in the hat or another famous celebrity coming by, right? Or another children's illustrator, it's possible. Great, I heard that people do readings that are movie stars and you have different We have storytellings up. and art workshops and all kinds of things that parents can do with their children. Totally cool, so can you tell everybody out there where you're located? Uh, well, our main site is located in Laguna Beach and this is our satellite gallery at South Coast Plaza and we always have exhibits up in both sites. Well, totally cool, well would you like to um, tell anybody out there cool cool all right well thank you so much and we're going to be right back after this radicule
totally cool, all you dudes in Doodle Collette. The Cat in the Hat finished reading just now. The Cat in the Hat comes back. The sequel. I don't even know if they made that into a movie yet, do you know? I don't think so. And all the dudes in Doodle Collette have had a great time drawing a couple cartoons. We drew two cartoons on It's Cartoon Time here at the Laguna Art Museum Gallery at South Coast Plaza. Remember, we drew, we drew Elle McPherson, and before that, we drew one kissy fishy from that Dr. Seuss book. One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. And this is another great book. Actually, I like every single Dr. Seuss book. They're all great. This one's called Wacky Wednesday. I'm just going to read part of it because it's so much fun. It all began with that shoe on the wall. A shoe on a wall shouldn't be there at all. Then I looked up and I said, oh man. And that's how Wacky Wednesday began. I looked out the window and said, gee, more things were wacky. And I saw three. I went down the hall and I said, hey, three things more were wacky today. That is so radical. Well, Cat in the Hat, let me shake your hand, doing a great job out there. Thanks for coming on. You gonna take a cat nap now? Would you like some cat sip on that hamburger? That's what I thought. And our brownies and our girls for coming out. Thank you so much once again here at South Coast Plaza. We'll see you later. Cue, bye-bye. <laughs> Practice, practice, practice.